it's Jackie. Okay, so today I wanted to, I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so um, I kind of wanted to address it to everybody. Um, first of all, I've got a very subtle look going on today, you know, a very nice daytime neutral natural eye. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, I did a tutorial on this, and um, this is what we're doing today, so just go with it. The hair's crazy, everything's kind of nuts, whatever. Um, so, let's go ahead and talk about um, how in the world are you supposed to match um, foundation to your face when you're in the store. I know that I have always had a problem with getting this right, um, and I think just learning a couple of tips will really help you with this. Um, I was always told to check the inside of your wrist to, you know, make sure, you know, check the foundation against the inside of your wrist. And I find that my wrist is always a couple shades lighter than my face is or than the rest of my body is, so I find that the back of my hand is a more accurate representation of the color of my face. So that is, I think, a better way to judge. Now, most foundations you can see through the packaging. Like, okay, here is um, the CoverGirl Outlast, and it's in, you know, a glass, a glass bottle. Um, I also have some of these from Rimmel, and these are in a, uh, you know, plastic tube, but you can still, you know, see through to see the shade. Um, avoid picking out anything that you cannot see the color through. Okay, this is um, the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam, and as you can tell, you cannot see the color through it because this is like... Um, an aluminum type, like do you hear it's like spray paint almost? So this is like an aluminum type can and the color that this comes out is a good nothing of what it looks like in the jar. So it comes out darker so just beware of that. Um, when you're trying to pick out a foundation. Um, another good rule of thumb is, is sometimes I will pick up a couple different foundations that I think will work and then return whichever shade doesn't work. Um, if you're not able to do this, um, I find, okay, once you find a shade that works for you, a great tip is now you can use that shade in the drugstore when you go in and you're searching for another foundation. So say, you know, you bought something during the winter time and now it's, you know, the summer and you've been outside and you're a few shades darker than your foundation was, you can go into the drugstore and you know that you're, you know, whatever number and you can compare this one two other foundations. So if you know you only need a shade or two darker, you can go ahead and compare because you can't you can't always tell by the names. Um, some foundations I'm in like a beige tone, some foundations I'm in a sand tone, some I'm in, you know, I have a spice beige, I have a tan, and I mean they're all pretty similar, so you can't really go by the name, you have to actually, you know, ignore the name pretty much until you found the color you want and then learn the name of it so you can just, you know, use it for comparison. But really ignore the name and look at the bottle. Um, another really cool tip for foundation is um, you can mix foundations. So say you have, you know, a winter foundation and a summer foundation like there are two different colors and you want to get you know your own custom color you can you know mix the two you can also mix foundations not only for color but for finish as well um, I really love the Revlon Colorstay whipped foundation this is a great 
super duper long wearing formula, but it's really matte and, um, you know, sometimes I just feel like it's a little too heavy to wear. So I actually today mixed it with the Revlon Age Defying um, foundation and I found that this was a really good pairing. I mixed them pretty much one to one. Um, this one was a little bit too light for me and this was a little bit too dark for me so this ended up being the perfect shade when I mixed them and not only that but this is usually it takes forever to dry and this usually doesn't look very dewy so the combination of the dewiness of this and the setting power of this just really gave me a nice you know custom basically a custom foundation that I feel like I got the coverage that I wanted and also, you know, just the overall finish that I wanted. So that's a great tip. Do not be afraid to mix. Um, when I will mix my foundations, I'll usually just mix them both on the back of my hand. Um, I'll go ahead and, you know, actually mix them together with my finger and then, you know, put foundation on my face and then go ahead and blend it out with a brush. Um, but go ahead, experiment, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, buy more than one color and take it back. Every place will take makeup back, you know, usually within 30 days with a receipt. So, you know, if you go to Walgreens and you can't really tell if you're going to need, you know, this shade or this shade, get them both and then return whichever one you don't use. So that is a good tip as well. Um, ladies, I hope this helps you pick the right shade of foundation. Um, always know that if it's not the right shade, girls, do not keep it. Return it, take it back, and get the right shade. There is no shame in that. Nobody's going to be mad at you. Um, so have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.